The following is a paid program by the Whitley Law Firm. Welcome to Attorneys on Call, the program that gives you free legal information from the Whitley Law Firm. Now, here's your host, Drew Smith. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining us today. We have got a fascinating program for you today. As you may know, North Carolina is home to several military camps or complexes, and one of those is Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina. That is the focus of today's program. You may not know this, but from 1953 to 1987, there was a serious case of water contamination on the Marine base there. And that is the focus of our program today because a new law has been passed that will open up the opportunity for you on behalf of a loved one or yourself to file a claim for damages related to the water contamination on Camp Lejeune from 1953 to 1987. This is a fascinating program, chock full of wonderful information that you need to know. And so we're so glad that you're joining us here today. In studio with us are Bob Whitley and Ben Whitley from the Whitley Law Firm. Guys, it's always great to be with you today. It, it's always good to be here. Good Drew. to be here, Drew. Bob, you, uh, you've been representing people around the state of North Carolina for decades, and you also have a very interesting story about a, a connection to Jacksonville. Well, it, you know, my first job out of law school was in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Okay. Uh, my wife and I grew up in Kinston, North Carolina, which is about 45 minutes drive to Jacksonville. And, you know, all the towns around Kinston and Jacksonville, we competed in football, high school sports, and, um, you know, and all the communities were a little bit alike. What separated Jacksonville was the Marine Corps base. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I was hired by a sole practitioner, lawyer mm -hmm. in Jacksonville. His name was Bob Locke. Okay. And, and Bob will always be special to me. He was the first lawyer I really knew. You know, I, I, I was in law school, but I didn't know any lawyers. Oh, I didn't right. work in the summer <laughs> at any law firms. And, and what a great example he set for me. He was uh, a kind, gentle man, smart. And, and, but what I really picked up on, even in his business practice and real estate practice, he had this keen devotion to his clients. And he worked real hard to make sure that the best outcome possible would take place. That is a good way to start out your law career. Absolutely. And um, of course, the base was just beginning to explode. This was in 1974. Wow. So a little bit before your time, Ben. A little bit. I was born in 77, so okay. just a few so years. Not too far in advance right. of that. But um, this, this case that we're talking about today, so right. important because so many people that lived on that Marine base during that time frame of 1953 to 1987 may have been affected by this contaminated water. Right. And the great thing about the Whitley Law Firm is that you're a local firm. Yes. You represent North Carolinians. Bob has this connection to Eastern North Carolina as you all do in the firm. So if people are wondering, gosh, what does this all mean for me? Just look to the Whitley Law Firm as getting representation that, because you know Eastern North Carolina. Right, and Drew, that's, that's one of the, the main reasons that we wanted to get involved. Um, knowing that this was a very specific issue in, in, in our area, in the area that we all grew up in. And there's just going to be probably law firms that are on the TV right now that people are having to endure that are advertising for these claims. And a lot of times, Drew, these law firms are from California, New York City. Mm. They're not local, and they've hired different advertising firms to run these ads. We knew this was coming, and we thought it was really important that our people had a name they could trust Absolutely. to handle these claims. And I, you know, I remember um, e years, we, we would often get calls from people randomly every so often that asked us about these water contamination mm -hmm. cases that, you know, mm -hmm. we could bit by that we're here, down <coughs> here. And they were all, you never knew, there was never anything that could be done because of the statute of limitations. You know, we, we had talked about that and from the 50s to the 80s, and that's a long time ago. And a lot of those cases until now 
have been completely cut out of court. And that's why we're on this show today. That's why I hope people are listening because there's a lot of great information out there that we need to get to you on how to handle these cases and, and what to do next. Bob, when, when, when people that are watching the program right now and they have questions, what is, should be their first course of action to contact the Whitley Law Firm and how can they get in touch with you and what will happen once they contact you? Because there is no cost involved for a free consultation with the Whitley Law Firm. No, there's not. Of course, our 800 number. And Ben, what is the exact name of the website they can go to? Uh, it's, it's going to be on the screen. We got it down here right now. And they'll be able to go to the website and it'll direct them to a page where you can fill out your information uh, and then we'll be able to contact you. Um, of course, you can go to the website that we're going to have on the screen. You can call us. And that's the thing that I think is very important for folks to know um, is that this is free to find out if you qualify. Right. It's free. <clears throat> you don't even have to pay an attorney if we accept your case and can file a lawsuit. Okay. And All of the fees are contingency fee. Mm -hmm. It's LejeuneRelief.com. Right. And, and, Drew, you know, most of those who probably became or were exposed to this were the Marines themselves. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of other people, local contractors, um, anybody that went on base uh, in Camp Lejeune. So these are, I kind of look at these people, Eastern North Carolina, it's our people. Mm -hmm. These are the people that over 40 some years I've represented, I've, I've, do, I've done my very best to protect them and to be their spokesperson. And to, so we look forward to I mean, they, like I said, they're, they're our people. We're going to be equipped with all of the information and the knowledge and skills ourselves to pursue these claims. Please stay with us because much more to come in the next two segments on this very important topic about water contamination at Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Another one of the Whitley Law Firm attorneys will be joining us. Sarah will be here momentarily. Thanks for being with us today, and we'll be right back.